perfect. What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Samsung has released an all new update for its clock application, which brings in a few changes. This is an app which we regularly use almost on day to day basis. Getting any new feature additions or new changes for this app is always a welcome change. Now, as you can see, the version number is 12.2.05.19. In the change log, it says improved widget font style and background color. Tapping the timer end notification pop up opens that timer, added a delete button and a button to move between timers on the mini timer screen. Now it is a bit tricky to understand what exactly has changed with this all new update. So for comparison, we have got the Galaxy S22 Ultra on which I have already updated the clock application. And on the left, we have got the Note 20 Ultra, which is running on the previous version. Now the first one is about the widget. Let's press and hold on the clock and tap on widgets. And uh, let's add this widget on the home screen. Let me just select one of the alarms here so that it gets added on the home screen. Now let me just expand this and show you what exactly has changed. As you can see on the newer version, the clock or this digital time is much more pronounced. It has got a thicker font compared to the previous version. And then on the right, there is a minor change here again. We have got the date, day and month above which we have got the clock icon here. Whereas in the previous version, we have got this right next to the date, day and month information. Now let me just add the second widget here. Again, here you can see the digital clock is in a bold font and the current date and month are in full form instead of this short form in the previous version. Even the next widget has got bold font as you can see here. This is a minor aesthetic change we have got on the widgets associated with the clock application. The next point says tapping the timer end notification pop up opens that timer. Now let me show you what exactly this means. Let's open the clock and let's tap on timer. I will just set a timer for 10 seconds here on both these phones. I'll tap on start. Now, once this timer ends, we will see a notification pop up in the notification panel, as you can see. And when we tap on this particular pop up, it is going to open up the timer, which is currently active. That is the second change we have. Now moving on to the third one, added a delete button and a button to move between timers on the mini timer screen. Now again, let's start the timer for a minute. Now I'll go to the home screen on both these phones. You will see this mini timer right here. On the current version, we have got this all new delete button right here on this mini timer. Whereas on the previous version, we just have pause button, but there is no delete button. The change log also says there is a button to move between timers on the mini timer screen. To see this change, we need to enable two different timers. So let's go to clock again. Let's start this one minute timer and let's tap on this plus button on the top right to add another timer of one minute. Now you can see we have got two timers running here on the app. Now let me just go to the home screen. Now we will see this mini timer on both these phones. You see in the newer version, we have got this arrow to navigate to the next timer. Whereas on the previous version, we don't have these arrow buttons here. That is the third change we have got with this update. Apart from this, you can also see this particular window. The mini timer looks pretty big on the current version, whereas on the previous version, it is smaller compared to the current version. And you can also notice when I delete this timer, we have got this cool animation on the current version. The timer just zooms out and disappears. That's a cool touch we have got with this all new update. That's about it. These are the minor changes or features or tweaks you can call which have been added by Samsung on the clock application. Not something very important, but yes, there are some changes which might benefit some people who use the clock to its fullest potential. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already and if you want to know your phone better, then you are at the right place. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye.